22-year-old Leonard Robinson stood before a judge inside Lowell District Court Tuesday morning to face the charge of murder for the death of 22-year-old Deja Jenkins Minus. Uh, Deja's neck was fractured, that she had over 58 stab wounds to her body. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not angry, I'm not. I'm more mad that they won't come forward. This is the story of Deja Jenkins Minus, aged 22, a new mother who was stabbed more than 58 times by her on and off again Boston rapper boyfriend, Leonard Robinson also known as Pole Boy D. Rose, age 22. This all happened because he had a doubt he might not be the father to the new baby Deja just had two months prior. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Based on this case we will be traveling to Boston. One of the most cosmopolitan cities in the United States, the state capital of Massachusetts is a true melting pot pulsating art, history, and culture. A city known for its famous baked beans, Fenway Park, the Boston Marathon, and of course for the bar from Cheers. Deja Jenkins Minus, aged 22, was a fun, energetic young mother to a two months of baby. Period, we're a baby. Are you 21? 21? Savage. Period. Is she a baby? Deja was a happy person who was described as lively and fun-loving. She was said to be the light of every room she was in. Deja attended Jeremiah Burke High School, and was planning to further her education sometimes in the nearest future. Deja had an on-and-off type of relationship with a young Boston rapper named Leonard Robinson popularly known as Pole Boy D. Rose. Their relationship looked so sweet whenever they having a good time. <laughs> Friends described them as being in love to each other whenever things are going smooth. They expressed a lot of their love on social media. Deja got pregnant at a point in their relationship, she would inform Leonard and everything seems really nice and cool. She had a really nice baby shower, they partied, enjoyed every bit of the day. They were all looking forward to baby Dailani. Problems started creeping in when Deja had the baby, Leonard was beginning to have doubts about the father of the baby, two months after the baby was born, Leonard posted on social media questioning whether he was the father of the child, also questioning whether he should have a DNA test. Just few days after that post, tragedy struck. Deja had been staying at her family's home in Boston for Thanksgiving when she departed with her daughter and headed to Robinson's home on Lulan Street in Lowell in the early hours of November 25th. She was expected to be back at the family house in Boston for a Thanksgiving Day gathering but did not return. Concerned by her absence, her family members began frantically checking the location of her phone. It showed she made it to Leonard's home, and Deja's mother drove straight to Lowell where Leonard lived. When she got there, she found the home locked, empty, and dark. Early the following morning, as police were responding to the home for a wellness check, a family member of Robinson climbed in through a window, calling out for him. He found his bedroom locked and kicked the door open. Inside the room was where they found the body of Deja Jenkins Minus on the ground next to the air mattress in that bedroom. When police went through the home, they found blood splattered in the kitchen and on the floors and walls. What the medical examiner's office noted was that Deja's neck was fractured, that she had over 58 stab wounds to her body by a sharp object, there were defensive wounds on her hands and her arms, stab wounds to her upper torso, front and rear of her neck, her face and the back of her head. Her very young daughter would be found in a Boston residence the next day. She was in good condition. Victim of an apparent homicide in Lowell has been identified by police as 22-year-old Deja Jenkins Minus of Boston. It's a case where police have not yet made an arrest. And as WBZ's Tiffany Chan tells us, her friends and family gathered tonight to remember her. 
Dozens of people gathered outside of the victim's home here in Mattapan, lighting candles, comforting her mother, a 22 year old woman, a new mother taken far too soon. The pain too difficult to put into words. Hugs turned into uncontrollable sobs at a candlelight vigil near the Morton Street housing development. Relatives of Deja Jenkins Minus identified the 22 year old as the woman brutally murdered in Lowell Friday. Her body, the Middlesex District Attorney says, was found inside a home with multiple stab wounds. Loved ones showed up by the dozens, blocking off a portion of Wood Bowl Avenue to mourn, not only for Jenkins Minus, but for her two month old daughter, now without a mother. Investigators say her killing wasn't random. The crowd here in Mattapan praying for an arrest. Police in Lowell still looking for the suspect. Now relatives tell us that Jenkins Minus does leave behind a two month old daughter. They're rallying, doing everything they can to come up with donations to help this family get through the winter. Days went by without any words of an arrest, which was frustrating for the family of Deja. Grieving family is asking for the public's help in finding the killer of 22 year old Deja Jenkins Minus. Police have said nothing about a suspect in the case since her body was discovered on Friday. WBZ's Tiffany Chan just spoke with the victim's mother and joins us live now with that story. Tiffany? Yeah, and the Jenkins Minus family has no idea why someone would want to kill this 22 year old woman the day after Thanksgiving. And with it happening so close to the holidays, the pain is just unbearable. Just come forward. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not angry. I'm not, I'm more mad that they won't come forward. A mother's tearful plea for justice just days after 22 year old Deja Jenkins Minus was found brutally murdered in Lowell. I knew something was wrong. I knew something was wrong. I didn't know what, but I knew something was wrong. It was Latoya Minus' motherly instinct that led Lowell police to this home where her body was found Friday morning. They told me that my daughter, that she was stabbed. Did they say by who? No, I don't know yet. The Middlesex District Attorney's Office is investigating, but tell us the killing doesn't appear to be random. While Minus has an idea of who might be responsible, she can't fathom why someone would want to kill this young mother, who, telling by this candlelight vigil, was so deeply loved. She's very outgoing. She's loving. She's a very uplifting young lady. Minus is now desperate for answers and has this message for her daughter's killer. They just need to turn themselves in. I'm lost. I'm hurt. I'm numb. I'm, I'm angry. And I want justice for my baby and my grandbaby. Robinson was previously free on $5,000 bail from two gun cases pending in Suffolk Superior Court and had been ordered to wear a GPS monitoring bracelet and to keep a 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. curfew. Data from the bracelet obtained by authorities placed him at the home until around 2 a.m. Thanksgiving morning. It indicates that he then drove to multiple locations in Boston before cutting off the bracelet at 4.56 p.m. Police later arrested 22-year-old Leonard Robinson on the 29th and charged him with murder in connection to the killing of Deja Jenkins Minus. A Lowell man is now being held without bail accused of murdering a young mother in her home. As WBZ's Nick Giovanni tells us, the suspect's social media posts may reveal a motive. 22-year-old Leonard Robinson stood before a judge inside Lowell District Court Tuesday morning to face the charge of murder for the death of 22-year-old Deja Jenkins Minus. What we have in this situation, Your Honor, is that Deja is found in the house that he was living in alone, in his bedroom, which was locked when any witness or the police came to that location. Prosecutors say the body of Jenkins Minus, the mother of a two-month-old baby girl from Boston, was found Friday morning in this Lowell home off Llewellyn Street. Her death ruled a homicide by multiple sharp force injuries. Investigators believe she was killed by Robinson the day before on Thanksgiving. What the medical examiner's office noted was that uh, Deja's neck was fractured, that she had over 58 stab wounds to her body by a sharp object. Robinson was described by prosecutors as an on-again, off-again boyfriend of Jenkins Minus. He was arrested in Boston. Further investigation revealed that there had been uh, social media posts by the defendant, uh, questioning whether he was the father of the child, questioning whether he should have a DNA test, 
and also stating that uh, he was mad at Deja, and I would suggest providing motive. Deja's mother, Latoya Minus, was in court Tuesday. It was her request for a well-being check that led to police confirming her worst fear. Her mother then and other family members then stayed up all night on Thanksgiving uh, looking to see if they could monitor the phone, Deja's phone, as to where it might possibly be located. He was subsequently denied bond. He is currently held in jail indefinitely at the moment. We hope Deja receives the justice she deserves. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Deja Jenkins Minus. May Deja's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe and see you guys in the next video.